Promise that you will sing about me. Promise that you will sing about me. I said when the Thanks for sticking it out through another episode, Update Nation. Extra thanks to Travis Ewing for blessing the set with his acoustic melodies. Follow me on Twitter if you want to see what I care about in the middle of the week. Spoiler alert, mostly fart jokes and sports. This week's takeaway is a little bit of a curveball. I'm seriously pissed, and I'm not just saying it this time. I was looking around the Huffington Post when I stumbled upon a story entitled, Gay British Teen Dies After Being Set on Fire at Birthday Party. I was horrified by the title, but I'd be lying if I said it got any better once I started reading. Warning, the story isn't fun. It isn't pretty and most people wouldn't want to talk about it. I'm not one of those people. When something this awful happens, the world should know so it never happens again. 18-year-old Stephen Simpson was exactly what the headline states, a gay, genuinely delightful British teen. The most unfortunate part of that sentence is I had to use the word was because Stephen suffered a fate that makes me shiver for humanity. One of his so-called peers, 20-year-old Jordan Sheard, tricked Simpson at his own birthday party into stripping down and covering himself with suntan lotion, which they failed to tell him was flammable. Then they set him on fire. Simpson died one day later of significant burns, and anti-gay slurs were found written across his chest. Sheard was recently sentenced to three and a half years in prison for manslaughter for what he claims was a stupid prank that went wrong in a bad way. All right, I've played pranks before, and none of them involved somebody dying. The court said it was a pure case of bullying based on his sexuality and disability. Simpson also suffered from Asperger's, and that the sentence was within the range for a typical hate crime. All right, let me get this straight. So you can set a young man on fire at his own birthday party, defile his body with hate speech, and walk out of prison a free man after three and a half years? There's something wrong about that. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I bet Steven Simpson could have figured it out if he had three and a half more years. Join me next week on the, another episode of The Update. Until then, pray for humanity, and always remember to update yourself. We're putting it on wax.